I'm headed to Shakespeare. I just got out of my psych class. Sorry for not vlogging right when I woke up. Um, well, right when I was leaving my room. Um, I was running late, so I just basically like ran the class. So, yeah. Um, I'm headed to Shakespeare. I have a couple psychology things to do later, but that's pretty much it. Um, it is a bomb outside, like the breeze is nice. It's supposed to be 73 later, so. After class, I'm probably gonna take a cold shower, change into a romper, and then head out to do my psychology stuff. Um, I think I'll have plans later, but I'm not sure. But, yeah, other than that, just class. So, I left my Shakespeare class early just because we're just doing performances and I just felt really uncomfortable and hungry in the back and I wasn't really paying attention anyways like I was on my laptop so to be honest I really wasn't I mean I didn't really have to go so I signed in for attendance and then left um, I didn't get Panda, so that's a first. <laughs> um, I'm headed back to my room to take a shower because I feel disgusting. I think it's because I'm sick. Like, I took a shower yesterday, but usually I'd like skip a day and I'd shower every other day. That way, like, the oil in my hair could, like, settle and make it stronger but I just feel disgusting all right so um, I made a hot pocket well it's a lean pocket because I really wanted to go healthy um, it's broccoli chicken and cheddar so that sounded good but I put it in and it says to cook it for three minutes and it ended up leaking like the cheese was like oozing out it smells good um, but that made a mess in my microwave, so I had to clean that. I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't really eat Hot Pockets. So, maybe that's why. <laughs> who are people who, you know, I'm happy you've tried for a full year. I often talk to people, like, a month into their time at Western, they're like, oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I pushed through it. Yeah, and I think that that's a good sign that will help your parents too, that, you know, you've tried, because in all honesty, if you came here and you hated it, I would tell you to stick it out. <laughs> I'd be like, I would tell you to do the same thing, because I've had students who, once they get past the adjustment of going to college, are like, mm -hmm. yeah, I love this, actually. Um, and then since graduating, because I've been here a very long time. Mm -hmm. So I think it's good that you've, you've kind of tried this first year. It gave you a good feel of what you like and what you don't. And you sound like somebody who's very passionate about doing something artistic, but are, maybe don't know which way you're Which is June 11th. We actually do have a, it's going to be a really small open house, but we do have an open house on the 13th. 
Oh, really? Of June? Yeah. Yeah, so that's a Saturday. That might be the best bet for you is to come down to that. Yeah. I didn't okay. see that on the website. That's why. Yeah, we have a couple of events coming up. There's one this weekend on the 30th. Yeah, I saw that one. And then there's one on the 13th. So there's a lot of them. Uh-huh. Uh, we're coming up here in the, in the near future. So what I would like to do is I can honestly pay for that. that. That would be a check-in at 9.30 and you'll be out of here around 12.30-ish. Yes, that would work perfect. Okay. Um, and then what I'd like to do is, is uh, we came here conference present, but we always like to, to do a pre-phone interview. Mm-hmm. Uh, just talk to you a bit more about the school because when you come to open house, the hard thing is, is you come and you go to one major. Mm-hmm. So in other words, if you, if you come in, you can't check out culinary and interior design and photography. Mm-hmm. So I'd, I'd have to go to one. I'd like to have one of my staff members just at least talk to you and maybe if we can find a time where your parents might even be able to dial in as well Mm -hmm. to just review, you know, your interests and make sure when you come in you're really going to maximize your time here. Mm -hmm. Um, I know you're probably in the middle of finals over the next few weeks. Do you have some time like early next week maybe where you could talk in the evening or maybe your your mom or dad could hop on as well? Um, I think any time next week would work perfect. Okay, I don't want to kill you on your final. Oh, no, you're fine. I only have one final, and that's on my birthday, so <laughs> the day okay. I leave. All right, Chris, it was really good to speak to you. Again, Thank you. Call me. I'll probably be giving it to somebody, and I'll be their boss, so if they don't do a good job, just call me. <laughs> no problem. Um, but I'm sure y'all will get you some good hands, okay? Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 <sighs> okay, so you guys, that was the art institute. I probably look like an idiot. <laughs> um, that was the art institute of Seattle, and I've um, I've actually wanted to talk to you guys about this. I'm um, thinking about applying to art school instead of coming here next year, but I'm not totally sure about it. Um, I actually started filling out the application just to see if I would get in and they just called saying that they usually like to call to have a little chat with everybody when it comes to um, applying and oh my gosh what if this is real (laughs) Um, I'm actually not sure about it only because it's been a tough year here at Western and um, I know I've been able to stick it out and everything but I've been really, really thinking about it since my junior year. Since my junior year in high school, I've really, really wanted to go to art school um, as like a college thing, like to actually get into the arts when it comes to like doing something or going into a career that I would like. So yeah, and then, um, but the hard thing is that I chose college because of my family and I know a lot of my family have dropped out of college their first year, which um, is tough for me because they look at me to finish a four-year college, but when it comes to like the art school, knowing that the art institute provides four-year degrees, like um, going into things like that, like I really just love it. As you guys know, I love photography. Um, Interior designing have been something that I used to always like to do, and um, even even the culinary, like cooking. It's it just seems so much fun and I don't know I've always loved the Food Channel and things like that like going out taking pictures recording things using things as memories it's just been a lot that I think that's what drives my art desire um, so getting a call from the Art Institute was actually pretty pretty decent um, I have always just been looking into it but I felt like it wasn't a plan because my parents wouldn't like it but I don't know Um, if this actually goes through I probably might be going to the um, Art Institute open house on June 13th which is actually a perfect date I mean um, it's in the morning so I might I mean it's not as bad um, of like the day so It'll be something I'll be doing in the morning. He said it's about from 9 to 12, so it's not too bad. Um, so, yeah. I'm just glad they called. <laughs> I mean, I was getting out the shower, but you know. I don't know, is this real? <laughs> 
Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day today since today is going to be actually really, really sunny. Um, it's supposed to hit sunny 3 today here in Bellingham. So, yeah, I just wanted to guys show you what I was wearing. Um, I have my hair in a half up, half down, only because my bangs are very annoying. I love how I did my makeup today. My wings are on point. And, um... My mascara actually makes me look like I'm wearing falsies, so I've gotten a lot of compliments on that. Um, this turtle necklace right here, I got, um, I think it was my freshman year from my mom. We got it downtown Seattle, sorry if I'm sniffling, I'm still kind of sick. But um, we got it downtown at Westlake, and it's been one of my favorite necklaces of all time. I have um, accessories from my mom, she got... This one, it says my name on it. Um, this one right here, it says my name on it, like my full name. Um, and she got it from Italy. Um, she got these two, I got these two from her. And I'm wearing a romper from Forever 21, which is really cute. I love this romper. And then sandals from Forever 21 also. So This runny nose has been so annoying. But yeah, I have the psychology thing I have to go to. And then after I have to go rehearse my lines with my Shakespeare group, I'm pretty sure they're going to trip because I'm going to be late. Alright, so I'm headed to my psychology thing. Um, it's basically, okay, so I've been going to these um, a couple times in the vlog. And if you guys are wondering what it is, it's um, our sonar research thing. And it's um, basically you fill out a survey or you do like some kind of activity then fill out a survey for our psychology class which is um, basically credits that we have to earn through going to these sessions and um, for a credit and I've been going to a ton of them only because I need and I want the extra credit for it so um, there's only like a couple left and got to sign up for two more, well basically three more. So yeah. Um, other than that, that's what it is. I'm doing that for now. And then probably after I go do my Shakespeare thing, maybe do something with Tosh. Um, we'll see. Hey guys, so I'm headed back to the ridge. I'm headed back to the ridge um, from my psychology things. It went really fast. It legit was just like one little reading and then like five questions. That was it. Basically, it took like five minutes, so. Whoa. I just got hell out of breath. I'll see you guys later because don't want, don't think you guys want to see me die. I forgot to bring my vlog camera to dinner, but um, I just got back from dinner with Tosh, Asia, and Tan. We, um, I didn't really have anything to eat. I just ate a plate of fries and some honeydew melons. Um, I wasn't that hungry actually. I didn't want to eat, but yeah, I'm gonna go. I mean, I have a lot of meals that I still have left, so I might as well start going. I might even start going for like breakfast or like brunch or something. Yeah, I also got ice cream and um, a lemon cupcake probably was a bad idea because I'm lactose sensitive. Just realized that this year, um, every time I have like dairy, like milk or ice cream or anything, like just dairy. But like, like my stomach hurts, like I have like the worst stomach aches ever, so. 
I'm bracing myself. I really wanted some ice cream though. I really, really wanted some ice cream. I love ice cream and being lactose sensitive is not going to affect my ways of eating because I love ice cream. Hey guys, so I'm FaceTiming Brian right now, and his birthday is next week, and I'm trying to figure out what to get him. I kind of have a few ideas in mind, but he really, really doesn't want me to get him a present, um, and that's the whole dispute right now. Um, I'm trying to get him to not get me a present then if I'm not going to get him a present, because I just it, it, it doesn't work that way. If he ends up getting me a present, I'm going to come right back and get him his present. Um, he's running on one hour of sleep, and he's just now making food for him and his little sister. I, his solution, I guess, is NOS. Freaking energy drinks. Oh my lord. Anyways... I don't know, should I get him a gift still or no? We'll see. Most likely it probably won't be like an actual gift gift. It'll probably be like something sentimental. But yeah, that's what is going down right now. I'm just in bed chilling since there really isn't anything to do. I have the door open and it feels really good. Just with the breeze and everything. Hey guys, so I just made a deal with Brian and I agreed to not spend any money on him. So, discard the question earlier. Um, we're still FaceTiming and he is giving me a face because I put him on mute. I think he found out that I was vlogging, so... <laughs> so at least he doesn't know what I'm talking about so I could be talking about his birthday gift but you know <laughs> he'll probably watch us anyway so it's so cute, um, he's, okay, he's giving me a face, but I wanted to talk about how we, well, he's been listening to Tori Kelly lately, and I love her music, only because her voice is just amazing, and, um, it's crazy because he was just listening to Paper Hearts, and I love that song, I used to, I don't know, I just to listen to that song whenever I needed like, just whenever I would listen to that song all the time. And, pause. I got in trouble. Anyways, um, we were talking about Paper Hearts, and he was playing a song, and it just brought back so many memories from when I first started talking to him, because I just, I think that was like my go-to song when I first started talking to him, but, yeah, I don't know, it like, just brought back memories, I mean, it's nice to know that he's the sweetest person I can ever ask for. Hey guys, I'm about to end the vlog here. I'm sorry, I'm looking for the mosquito. Where did it? A very special lady. Anyway, oh, oh, there it is. I'm gonna kill it. Can't fool it. It's all now. Oh! Their phone's cut. Hey guys. I 
killed it. And I love Hi. They can't hear you, you're supposed to just wave. That's what I am. I think I killed a mosquito. If anything, I think it doesn't. Alright, I'm ending the vlog here, so. Yeah, if I got a mosquito bite, I'll let you guys know. But I killed it. Stay perfectly and perfect, like subscribe, do whatever, bye!